Hello, Florence. We just smile and drink coffee. In a second, you could be gone. Violet Gibson, the lady that shot Mussolini. Now I do like this, I think this is very cool. It proves that this device does not just give you random voices. I'm sure I just saw someone walking right there. I live the rest of her life in St. Crispin's Mental Asylum. It's a very beautiful cemetery though. Do you like the fact that you are remembered? Goodbye. See you again another time. I've come to my local cemetery to clear up my nan and granddad's grave. Good morning guys, welcome to another video. It's a bank holiday. Got a cheeky costume as well. It's a bit overgrown, like the rest of this cemetery. So I bought some flowers. We're gonna give it a nice clean up. I've not been here for a while. It's always humbling to come back, tidy up, and make it look nice for my dad. They clearly don't strim their, their graves very much. My symmetry, they're already done twice already in the last few weeks. That's better. Do need to go find some water. So, let's put this rubbish away and go for a walk. This should be like a tap area. Give it some nice fresh water. So I've got my DR60 with me today and I'm gonna do some recordings in the cemetery as well. Hello, Nan and Grandad. I hope you're okay. I hope your spirit is happy, is at peace. Hello, Nan and Grandad. I hope you're okay. I hope your spirit is happy, is at peace. I'm asking you to give me a sign. If you ever visit the cemetery, this, this grave of yours. Now, I'm sure there was something there. I'm going to place it on top this time. Leave my coffee out of the way. So if there's any entities that can hear me, I ask you to come forward and give me a message. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. So if there's anybody here that can hear my voice, I'm just curious to know something about you. So now I'm going to go for a little walk around the cemetery, try and do some EVPs, see if anybody's here that would love to chat. Do you know what I love about walking around the cemetery where I work? It's all the different styles of grave and headstones. You don't really know how many there are until you start working there. It's quite interesting. So there'll be many different styles of headstones, different religions have different things on their on their graves, 
on the final resting place. Different cultures. I would do a little walk around with at the cemetery I work in, but I don't want to mix work with uh, my other side of my life, to be fair. I think I would rather just keep that separate so there's no issues, no conflicts. See, that's a nice, I like the flags. I like it when people have flags at their graves. Obviously, American lady. Liverpool supporter. But it's just nice. It's nice to see all the graves and how people are remembered over the years. It's, it's very interesting. Yeah. There's a lady behind me watching me. We just smile and drink coffee. The other videos that I've done here is uh, with Violet Gibson, the lady that shot Mussolini. Her grave is over the other side. We'll have a look at that before we finish. Never really been over this side before. Must be the children's area. I always feel sad when I see the children's ones. Imagine losing a child so young. Awful, absolutely nothing worse. People celebrating birthdays, football teams. It's really good. So that must be their soil pile up there. Wood chip, more soil. Now before working in the cemetery, these things wouldn't have meant anything. It just looks, I didn't even notice them to be fair. I never ever noticed soil piles or wood chip piles or anything like that. But when you work in it, you pick up the little things. You know why certain things are on the road because of how they've dug a grave. It's really, it's, it's interesting for me, but obviously not, not for you guys, but. So let's try another little session. Okay, if there's anybody here with me. Oh, I cut them, disgusting. Turn it off. I'm sure I just saw someone walking right there in front of that building as I leant down to turn this off. But there's nobody there. What the hell? They had a gray top on with like brown trousers. Mm, weird. I saw that. Let's go down there. So have a look because there's no way somebody could have walked away that quick because there's just a road, I think, behind it. That's obviously their chapel. It's a very beautiful cemetery, though. Just a shame they don't cut their grass or strim their headstones at the graves. So yeah, the person was just here, walking over this area. But they can't get out that way because there's a fence there. Plus I would have seen them because I was next to the fence. So unless they went in the chapel. But the chapel probably wouldn't be open unless there was a, a funeral or a ceremony. That's padlocked up. Hmm, interesting. There's so many amazing headstones that I've seen in here from being here previously filming. Like this one over here, I really like this one. It 
this one is quality. Really like the old, the old headstones that they used to have. They do things totally different now. Right, so I'm calling out for Abraham, Mary, or Hannah, if you are here. Right, so I'm calling out for Abraham, Mary, or Hannah, if you are here. Can you hear me? Is your spirit here? Uh, nope, nothing at all. Wow, well, so these are fairly new. It's not weird showing people's graves either. That is a very big dirt mound. Wow. First of April. That's huge. May you rest in peace. Turning it on now. So it will pick up background noise. But there's a grave, like headstone I like over here. I think these are the original early ones when this was first built. That's pretty cool. There's this one here with the little iron gates. I think that's amazing. That's brilliant. Let's have a listen. Turning on now. So it will pick up background noise. But there's a grave in my headstone I like over here. I think these are the original early ones when it was first built. So this is good because people always say about the DR60, oh, you just get scuffling noises. It's where it re-records over itself, the magnetic strip inside the, uh, the recording element. And you get it all the time. Well, you don't get it all the time because I've just proved that. I've got one possible word when I was at my nan's grave and granddad's grave and nothing else in all the recordings that I've done so far, so. So I'm going to head up down the other side now, up towards where Violet is. Say hello to Violet, have a chat, and then head back to my nan and granddad's grave to say goodbye. Now I do like this, I think this is very cool. All the different regiments from different wars. Wow, that is pretty impressive actually. I think that's brilliant. Airmen, Navy, Army, pilots, soldiers, air gunners, wow, brilliant, love it, absolutely love it. So if there's any, any spirits, any past beings that was in the war, Firstly, thank you for your effort, for your sacrifice. Amazing. We couldn't have done what we did without you guys. You should be very proud. And you're, I'm sure your families are very proud as well. Come back. 
Nope. See, I really like the fact I'm not getting any messages. I think that's really good. It proves that this device does not just give you random voices, random scary screams and sounds all the time, because it clearly doesn't. I think there's nothing more humbling than visiting a cemetery. For whatever reason you're there, to pay your respects, if you're interested in the headstones, the, uh, the history of maybe people that are buried here, the war graves, it's just very humbling. It reminds you what's important in life because in a second, you could be gone. Appreciate who you're with, the people around you, your friends, your family. Make sure you look after them because you need to remember what's important, like I said. And it's those people, your support system, the people you call friends, the family that you're born into, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your kids. Be nice. Because all too soon it could be gone. I'm sure Violet is around here somewhere. Because she's near the roundabout. Oh, that is her there. There we go. There's Violet. Hello, Violet. Someone's put some stones on you. Thank you for trying to kill Mussolini, the evil Italian dictator. 1876 to 1956. Now what's crazy about this lady, when she shot Mussolini, she shot him twice, didn't kill him though. She was obviously in a public area, I think there was like a, a parade or something in Italy. And the local crowd, the, the locals, they tried to get her. So luckily for her, the police were there and they arrested her. She ended up coming back to the UK, to England and or lived the rest of her life in St. Crispin's Mental Asylum, which is also my favorite ever haunted location. So that's also in Northampton on the outskirts. It's just such a small world. Never ever knew anything about Violet until I searched up local, like famous graves and interesting history. It's crazy. Hello, Violet. I'm back. Hello, Violet. I'm back. It's been a while. I'm going to have a come back here. Do you remember your time? In nope. Do you like the fact that you are remembered? I'm trying to spread the word about you. Do you like Thank the you. fact that you are remembered? I'm trying to spread the word about you. Making videos about your life, your past, your heroics. Do you like that? Okay. Maybe she doesn't come back to visit her grave maybe she can't remember maybe she's at Crispin's maybe I was supposed to make contact and find out about Violet because of St Crispin's maybe I need to return to St Crispin's again I'm sure I will stay tuned on this channel for that video goodbye Violet nice to see you again Hi Nan and Grandad, I'm going now. Goodbye Nan and Grandad, I love you. I'll be back another time to come and see you, to come and speak to you. Goodbye Nan and Grandad, I love you. I'll be back another time to come and see you, to come and speak to you. <laughs> anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Nice little video, nice humble video. Brings me down to earth, grounds me, keeps me knowing where my important things in life are, my family, my friends. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like. If you're not subscribed to me, hello, my name is Mickey. And it'd be an honor if you to join the family, my paranormal family, on my journey in search of the unknown. Many more videos on the way, many of you already here, so 
I'll see you guys in another video. See you later.